Hey lady, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl here, Sharonda Simone, and I'm back with another video. Alrighty, now if you're like me and you enjoy wearing press-on nails, but you're worried that they might pop off in public, or you want your nails to last longer, like two plus weeks, then this is the video you're going to really want to watch because I'm going to be showing you exactly what I do to get my cheapy cheapy Amazon press-on nails to last for two plus weeks. Now, I know a lot of people say their nails last that long, but sis, I have receipts, okay? So I'm going to show you right here on the screen. This is a snapshot of one of my Instagram stories where I was sharing this particular set of nails, okay? Now, if you look on the screen, you'll see a video. This video shows the same nails that I shared on Amazon, but look at that new growth. Girl, it's time for a fill-in, but I'm not going to the salon. Instead, I'm going to do my nails at home right here today. I'm going to take you step by step through that process. It is very simple, but there are some subtle details that make the world of a difference, all right? After you finish watching this video, share it with a friend. All right, so I'm going to flip the camera down right now so that you can see exactly what I have going on right here. Everything that I'm going to use will be tagged down below if you'd like to try it out for yourself. Correction when you want to try it out for yourself because let me tell you girl game changer right here Okay game changer. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my nails now I like to clean up my cuticles a bit. So I'm going to be using my Sally Hansen instant cuticle remover I have had this for so long You just need a little bit. I probably go overboard <laughs> somewhat but I find that when I clean up my cuticles it allows the nail to stick better to stay better because you know everything is just nice and clean and flush surface all right now as the cuticle remover is sitting now i'm just going to go ahead and trim my nails down so that's something else i like to do i like to make sure that my nails are as low as possible i just find that when my nails are shorter it's harder for the artificial press on nail to separate from my actual nail. So I do like to make sure that they are pretty short. Uh, now if you see this right here, that's just some glue that dried on my skin, but it washes off, you know, after a few hand washing. Okay, so now that the cuticle remover has been allowed to sit for a bit, I'm going to grab this cuticle pusher and just clean up my cuticles like this. And you can get this from, you know, your beauty supply store, any little nail kit. I think Dollar Tree has a little nail kit as well. I think that's what this actually came from. <laughs> now, there is another one that I prefer to use. This one came from a nail kit off of Amazon, um, and it has a little bit more of an astute, you know, like tip to it. It's a bit heavier, um, and it has a little bit more weight to it. So I like to use this one. Um, but I'm not pushing on my nail, but you can just see the difference, you know, how, how it is when you have one that has a little bit of an edge to it. It really helps to get the cuticle skin off and push back nicely. So I'm just going to do that for all of my nails. Now, if you guys have any questions about press on nails, you know, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer them. Um, the nails that I'm using, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, they are from Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below for you. It came in a, a pack, like multiple colors, and these are matte nails. So um, I think next time, I do like the matte for fall. I think it's really nice, um, but I still kind of miss my high gloss look. So I think I'm going to order some, you know, high gloss nails next. And then when you use high gloss, it also hides any glue that, you know, might seep out much better than with the matte nails, because if the glue gets on the matte nail, then you're going to see it. But if you have like a high gloss nail, it doesn't show up as much. So that's just something right there. But I do like these matte nails. I think they are so pretty. This color is definitely, you know, Christmas <laughs> type nail color, if you ask me. 
Okay, so now I've cleaned up the cuticles nicely and you can see just how much cuticle skin was actually pushed back and removed from my nails. All right. Okay, now I'm going to take a little cotton round right here, a cotton ball, and just saturate it with some alcohol. This is regular rubbing alcohol, and I'm just going to clean off my nails. This is very, very important, okay? So you want to make sure that you don't have any oils, lotions, moisturizers, nothing like that left on your nail beds because that can let the nail lift much easier. So you want your nails clean and dry. So I find that using alcohol is really effective. Of course, you know, washing your hands, drying it really well before you start the process. But then this step in particular of using the rubbing alcohol, I like that a lot because it just helps to really dry out my nails. Okay, so now that my nails are cut, the cuticles have been pushed back. Sometimes I'll look and see if I have any leftover cuticle that I need to address. If I do, then I will with this little cuticle trimmer right here. Okay, it has like a little edge to it. Again, you know, this part you don't have to do if you got your cuticles pushed back to your liking, but if you didn't, and if you see any little leftover cuticle, you can just go in and just trim it easily with this cuticle trimmer right here, okay? So after I do that, now I'm going to get a nail file. Now this nail file is one that I've used before, obviously, right? And I just get them in the multi-pack from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna take it and I'm just going to, you know, just kind of file the edges of my nail down a bit. Just make sure there aren't any jagged edges or any really sharp edges because, you know, they can snag your clothes and your hair, things like that. So I'm just filing down the nails like that. All right, now in order to allow the press on nail to really attach well, you're going to want to scuff the nail up a bit. So you don't want it smooth, you actually want to scuff it up. So I'm going to turn onto the belly of the file and I'm just going to just scuff the nail. Now I'm not filing it down, we're not, you know, filing, filing. It's literally just scuffing the nail and I usually try and do like different directions there's a couple passes and then I focus on the perimeter of the nail because that's usually where it lifts off first, right? So I'll take it and I'll just go like this, a couple passes like that. Again, not filing the nail down, just scuffing it up a bit. And this allows the nail to bind really well with the glue, okay? So this is a very important step. You're not filing it down, to make the nail thin, it's literally just scuffing the nail up just a bit and focusing on the perimeter. Because again, that's where the nail wants to lift up, right? If you guys are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please like and leave me a comment. And also do be thinking about who you're going to send this video to after. All right, you know, sharing is caring. Let's help other people out. <laughs> Okay, so now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to have your nails all lined up and you know picked out before you get started. It just makes it so much easier. Here, let me clean off all of my little nail shavings because that can be gross. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here we go now. I've selected the nails. And what I like about this particular nail set from Amazon is that the nails are numbered. Um, I don't know if all of nails are like this, you know, maybe all the nails are like this, I don't know, but I'm fairly new to the whole press on nail situation, so I was impressed um, and pleased when I found out that they had the, the numbers on the back because then I can, you know, like kind of match it up two, two, you know, one, one. It just makes it easier once I select my nail size for one hand, I kind of know what I'm going to use on the other hand. It makes it much easier. The next thing you're going to want to do is get your glue. And this is a really important step right here. So you don't just use one glue. I like to use two different types of glue and I do it in a very particular way, okay? All right, so the first thing, I'm going to flip the 
nail over okay the press on nail and then i'm going to take the kiss maximum speed nail glue and i'm going to put just one drop okay and the one drop i put not all the way up at the top and not all the way down at the bottom of the nail but kind of like right in the middle because i just find that when i do it like that then it spreads out more evenly okay so i'm going to do that and then I'm going to take my Typhoon brush on nail glue. This comes in a four pack on Amazon. Again, everything is linked down below and I'm going to brush it on to the nail like this. And I'm going to make sure that I cover all areas of the nail. Like don't forget the corners and the little grooves on the side and the tip of the nail, okay? And then I'm going to take the press on nail and I'm going to flip it over just like that and then starting from the base pushing pushing that part down first and then pushing on the rest of the nail all right and then I'm going to hold it and now when I'm holding it I am focusing on pushing pressure on the entire nail so not just putting pressure at the base but I'm putting pressure all over so the base the middle and like the end of the nail and i'm just going to do that it says five seconds but i like to go maybe like 10 15 and then sometimes i'll also turn on my little fan right here okay i'll turn that fan on and i'll just let it dry like this as well and the whole time i'm just applying pressure like that okay that one is down and you know what you can do sometimes some of the glue goes behind here and will stick your skin to the nail so just gently you know pull back a little bit before it dries all the way all right you're going to want to go around the edges and do the same thing all right like that boom first nail down looks good let's keep going all right so flip it over like this grab your kiss maximum speed and notice where i'm putting the drop one little drop right there in pretty much the middle of the nail and then grabbing my brush on nail glue making sure i coat the entire nail very important don't forget the sides and the end of your nail and then grab your press on And yes, I am double jointed. <laughs> that's why my, oh, that's why my thumb bends like that. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to flip it over, put on the base first, kind of push it down and then apply pressure to the rest of the nail like that. Okay. Uh oh, it's crooked. All right. Whew. Still kind of, a, no. All right. It's straight. <laughs> I was worried. I was like, no, it's crooked. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply pressure. Again, focusing on the entire nail, really important. It's a little crooked. It's a little crooked. It is a little crooked, but you know what? We can get away with it. What do you think? <laughs> now, one question that I get sometimes is, you know, do I notice that my nails get damaged from having the press on nails? No, I mean, there is some inherent damage right you're putting a chemical nail you know a chemical glue on your actual nail so yeah i mean you're doing something but there are some things you can do to just help with the overall health of your nail so one thing i like to do is i do like to use a nail hard nut in between nail applications so i will use uh, i can't remember the name of it but i will try and tag it down below i think it's from sally hansen as well but it's a nail hardener i think it has like biotin and all of that which you can take by mouth okay so biotin is good for skin hair and nails but just be careful for some people biotin actually can cause acne breakouts so be careful about that and then as you can see when i prep my nails i don't file them down like crazy you know i just scuff them up a bit and then something that is really important that I've talked about in so many videos is internal collagen. So I do take a collagen powder supplement. I'll tag the one that I take down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, as you can see, 
With this one, there is some overflow of the glue, which can happen with the smaller nails. So just try and wipe that off. There we go. Okay. You guys are going to be so impressed when you try this technique out and see how long your nails stay on. It's like a game changer. It really is. It really, really is. Okay. Don't worry about the glue that's pressing out from the sides. We're going to address that in just a minute. that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did you know what to do mash the like button and spam the comment section also don't forget to share this video with a friend because they will thank you later if you already subscribed to my channel and you continue to show me love and support here as well as on instagram thank you so very much i appreciate it if you're new to my channel go ahead and check out some of my other videos and playlists see if it's something else you'd be interested in watching okay so until next time, remember, I am Sharonda Simone, and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye. Feels like I'm fading.